In this video, I'm going to show you how to reset Microsoft Outlook to its default settings. So the first thing we're going to do is click on file in the top left navigation, click on options from the left hand side, click on customize ribbon, and next to customizations, press this reset button and press reset all customizations. When you get this message pop up, select yes. Then we're gonna click on quick access toolbar. Once again, next to customizations, press reset, select reset all customizations. Once you've done this, press okay. And now you'll need to close out of the Outlook application. Then we need to head over to our start menu and search for run and then click on the run icon. In this box, type in outlook.exe space forward slash reset nav pane and then you can hit enter. That's going to relaunch your Microsoft Outlook application. And once it's loaded, you can check to see if that solved your issue. If it's still not working, close back out of the Outlook application, head back over to your start menu and search for run and click on the run icon. This time in the search box, type in outlook.exe space forward slash clean views and then hit enter. Once again, wait for Outlook to open back up and we can then check to see if that solved our issue. If it's still not working, the final solution is to head over to your start menu and search for register editor and then click on the registry editor. From the left hand side expand the folder next to H key current user, expand the software folder, then scroll down until you see Microsoft and expand this. Scroll down again until you see the office folder and we're going to expand this. Click on 16.0 to expand the folder, expand the Outlook folder and then scroll down and you need to select setup from this list. Now you don't need to expand this just select the folder like so and next to where it says first run we're going to right click on this file, click on delete and then press yes. Once you've done this, you will need to restart your computer and you can try launching back up Outlook and that should have now reset your settings back to their defaults. If you did find this video helpful, then let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.